Hi, this is Jamie from Heartfelt Horsemanship and Gareth and I want to talk to you a little bit about why we have a horse pick us up from a fence. There's so many things going on here that I thought I'd like to take the opportunity and cover a few of the, the reasons why we do this. First off, a fence is safer than a mounting block for crawling on a young horse and if you're in a colt starting program um, you will learn this skill. Um, the reason being is if, the, if a young horse sort of jumps forward it can kick the, the mounting block right out from under you um, if you misread your signals and things went wrong whereas that fence is pretty stationary and if the horse jumps forward and kicks out from up there Gareth is not going to be in the way of feet. So um, for us it is a safety issue um, the other reason being um, is, you know, mounting blocks often get in the way um, in an arena. You know, we have so many things laying in the arena as it is. We have, you know, poles and everything in the way. Um, and it's really not conducive to have one more thing that needs to be moved or something that can be, um, you know, sort of tripped over if a horse has a, you know, has a problem or whatnot. So that's the second reason why I don't have a mounting block here. Um, when I start a young horse, um, I like to work them from a fence um, because it is preparing them to take leadership from up above their head. Um, before the first ride, you know, the only thing a horse has really seen um, has, you know, is a human communicating with them from the ground. Um, being able to do all these things from the fence um, is just changing one thing at a time and a natural progression to us moving over and sitting on their back. Um, I will do my first mounts from a fence. Um, sometimes if I don't have a fence then I have to work with a mounting block, but I'm really particular about with the type of tools that I crawl onto. Um, I want something that's fairly sturdy, whereas mounting blocks move, fences don't. The other part of this aspect that I think is really important um, is if my horse isn't willing to, once they've learned to pick me up from the fence, if my horse isn't willing to come to the fence and get me, I kind of read that as a no, I don't think you should ride today. Um, and I probably have some work to do in my relationship, you know, or, or something's not quite right. All of my horses um, have us sit on the fence um, and they pretty much put themselves in a position to come and fetch us. Um, I had a horse... Um, that used to come from 40 hectare mountainside when I sat on the fence to come collect me from the fence and that's how I knew um, he was ready to ride every day. So to me it is a, an absolute test of partnership. You know we talk in terms of partnership and horsemanship in terms of what the human needs to do. I would like my horses to take some of the responsibility of the relationship. You know, they still have 49% of that relationship and I would like them to do a little bit more work for me. You know, at the end of the day, um, I have four horses of my own and horses in training and projects all over the place. Um, I would like my horse doing a little bit more work. They can do it. They can certainly read the room and see you up on the fence and go, hey, let me make life a little bit easier to come fetch you. Um, having your horse be able to master the skill from fetching you from something, from the fence, from a mounting block, from a tree, from a ditch. Um, there are so many different ways that you can mount a horse even if you are vertically challenged like I am. Um, but, you know, really you know, you should be able to send your horse to a particular place, have them line up with a saddle so it's easy for you to put your foot in the stirrup um, and just step on. So the first steps to doing that, we start at working on the fence. Um, second step would be to have it happen consistently at the fence and then as we're working our horses in various terrains and settings, we teach them to pick us up in other places. Again, that's all about partnership, um, a little bit of safety, and hope you have a great day. Hi guys, Gareth here from Hartfield Horsemanship. Jamie is working on teaching a horse to pick up, off, pick her up off the fence. This is Princess, who you've seen the first few videos of her sessions. Pretty much every session of Princesses we've filmed, so you're seeing her progress directly. Now, the method that we use to get the horse to pick us up off a fence is the exact using the exact same four core movements that we use for riding. So. Jamie's having her respond to the leading, send her out away if she doesn't come up in space, and then send her back towards you. Okay, so Princess is lined up there, now Jamie will send her the other direction. Mm -hmm. 
Now, for instance, this isn't always all the way over where Jamie needs it, but we need to give a horse a release when they're getting close so they know what they're expected to do. You can't expect for perfect the first time out. So, kind of think of it as a game of hot, hot, cold. And if you guys, when you were younger, you played hot, hot, cold, where someone would hide something in a big open space and you walk around and as you get closer, the person says hot, hot, or warm, warm, hot. So as you're getting closer, they, get, they give you an idea that you're getting in the right place. So there Jamie's saying warm, she's getting close to what she wants. Takes another step forward, and, oh, very warm. And she gives a nice rub, lets that feel like a really good spot so the horse knows that that's what you're looking for. Now the big thing here is not to jump, well, if you've got a rideable horse, Princess has never been ridden, so this is just part of the training process. But once your horse is rideable, you're going to get them there and give them rubs about 10 times before you ever get on. You don't want to just get them there, get on and go, because then they're just going to not feel any release for doing the right thing. Oh, Jamie's rubbing her legs all over Princess, but this is really just to get her used to for her first ride, getting used to legs moving around on her. Now whether you pick having a horse pick you up from a fence or from a mounting block, it's the same process. So Princess blew past there, Jamie's going to send her past her again, not give her a rest when she's, do, when she's out of place. She has to keep the pressure up until the horse is back in the right position. The so Princess is going to organize herself. Okay, and she says warm, that's close. As I was saying there, um, whether you're doing a mountain block or getting them from a fence, it's the same process. Uh, we prefer to use a fence because we're often working with young horses. And you get on a young horse with a mountain block and they get their feet, feet tangled in a mountain block, um, you're in for trouble. You're going to give the horse more stress than they need. So a fence, they can't get tangled when you get on. So if you've got a nervous horse, I also recommend getting a horse on from the fence rather than on a mountain block where they might get they bump their feet into it and get tangled under their legs. So Jamie's not using a ton of pressure, she's just keeping pressure up until Princess is close to where she wants her. Then she'll give a release and she says that's warm, I'm going to give you a release, you're getting close and she's going to give her a forelock rub. Jamie's learning sign language with me so she can do this while I'm talking. <laughs> so the forelock rub lets her feel really good in that position and then only once the horse is nice and relaxed in that spot will Jamie then ask for a few steps forward. <laughs> and the amount of pressure Jamie's using is so slight. She's not asking her to circle, although we're using the same cues for the scent on the circle, we're using, asking for one step at a time forward. If we get greedy, we're going to sit there all day and fight with the horse. So Jamie's at the shoulder now, which is a really good position. And you can see um, Princess's hindquarters is a little bit out, um, but we're not asking for perfection straight on out. Jamie's going to just do a little bit of her work from up high. The great thing here is that I've never seen anyone bucked off a fence, so you can get a leg over on the horse, get them really used to this process. Okay, so you can see that Princess is in a very, pretty good position there. Um, you got the video which we did with Rocky yesterday where Rocky got all the way around. Um, so if you want something to work on with your horse, getting them to fetch you, that really shows partnership for your horse. And that's about as good as it gets. Great guys, um, if you can just give us a, drop us a message if you want to see a particular topic covered on our videos and um, like and share our YouTube videos so we can get more reach on our YouTube channel and we'll see you again soon. Happy quarantine!